Hey all, this is Reddit Tosker. In today's video I'm going to show you the easiest way to farm Lynels for the best weapon materials. This method requires absolutely no skill and no experience fighting Lynels. You won't need to have any hearts and you don't need to have any armor upgrades since ideally using this method you won't be getting hit at all. The only requirement is that you have enough weapons and that those weapons do enough damage that you can kill the Lynel before all of those weapons break. Alright, I'm not going to beat around the bush. The method is the Puff Shroom. The Puff Shroom is overpowered. You can't sneak strike a Lynels, but if you envelop yourself in a cloud of Puff Shroom, the Lynel will put his weapon away and will just stand there while you continuously attack. After a couple of rotations of you attacking the Lynel, you pull out another Puff Shroom, throw it to refresh the cloud, and then proceed to keep attacking the Lynel. You do this over and over until the Lynel dies and you can collect their materials. You will of course need to have enough Puff Shrooms to keep up this rotation until the Lynel dies. And in the case of the Lynel Colosseum, which we'll cover in a bit, you'll have to have enough Puff Shrooms to deal with each Lynel in succession. How many you'll need will depend on how long you expect killing a Lynel to take, and that will depend on how much damage your weapons do. Thankfully these mushrooms are plentiful in the depths. I don't have a specific location to farm them, but they're all over the place. An easy way to find them is to have access to the Sheikah Sensor Plus, which will have your Sheikah Sensor beep when you move in the direction of an item that you're looking for. You can search for any item, animal, or enemy in your compendium. You get the Sheikah Sensor Plus from Robbie in the Hateno Village Lab. Okay, for the next part of this video, I'm going to detail how to most effectively use this method to kill the four Lynels at the Lynel Coliseum. For those that don't know, these Lynels are located in the Floating Coliseum. It is in the depths, and its location is directly beneath the Coliseum ruins above ground. A notable landmark that is part of a major quest is the Great Abandoned Central Mine. You can get to it by heading northwest of the mine, or west of this light route. The fastest way to get close to this section of the depths is from the Great Plateau North Chasm. When you enter the Colosseum, you'll have to fight one Lynel after another in rapid succession. From here I will detail the strategy that I use to get through this encounter without getting hit. First of all, since attack damage is the most important thing, you should have three levels of the attack up skill, whether that's from wearing the Fierce Deity or Barbarian armor set, or eating a food buff that temporarily gives it to you. I like to shoot a Bright Bloom Seed into the arena so I can see it better, but of course that's not required. When you go into the center of the arena, the gate will close behind you, and a red Lino will appear in the front. This is the easiest of the Lynels you have to fight. What you'll need here is to have a Kisai or some other kind of animal eye to home in on the Lynel's head. After a headshot, the Lynel will kneel down and be temporarily stunned. You use that opportunity to run up to it and throw out a Puff Shroom. The important part about the Puff Shroom is that it envelops you, not the target. Here he moved a little and I wanted to make sure that I was inside the cloud, so I threw out another one. And then it's just a matter of attacking until the Lynel goes down. Now, if you don't have very many good weapons and armor, you might want to take the opportunity of being here with the Lynel to fuse other weapons, using the horns that this Lynel just dropped. If you don't have better options, you can use these horns on the Lynels that will follow. It might also be a good idea to grab the bow, like you see me do here. Using the three-shot bow in conjunction with another Kisai will make it less likely that you miss the headshot in the initial charge. At this point, you do the same thing to the second Lynel that you did to the first. Hit it with a headshot with the Kisai, go up to it with a Puff Shroom, and keep rotating between attacking the Lynel and using Puff Shrooms. This second Lynel is a blue Lynel and will have more health than the first. Once it goes down, another Lynel will come out, this time a white maned Lynel. Again, repeat the process to approach it, and make sure that you're properly enveloped in the mushroom cloud.
The next lino is a silver haired lino, and of course you repeat the same process again. The final lino makes you change your strategy a little bit. This lino also has silver hair, but it's covered in rock armor, meaning you can't headshot it to approach. The easiest way to overcome this safely is to be defensive and pull out your shield. Depending on how good your shield is, the lino may break it in one hit, but even if it does, you should be alright and just switch to another shield. You keep doing this until the lino stops and does an attack that leaves him open, and at that point you throw a puff shroom right at him. At this point, you'll need some kind of blunt weapon to break through the rock armor. And after that, it's just a matter of treating this lino like all the others. Alternating between attacking and throwing out puff shrooms. And that's it. That's the easiest way to kill linos and farm their materials in the Colosseum. That's the end of this video. As always, thank you very much for watching.